At the Paris Air Show in 1995, several European countries got together to sign an agreement to proceed with work on the future large aircraft. Much has changed since then, but what was once called the FLA and is now called the A400M, or Grizzly, is making its Paris Air Show debut this year. A book could be written on the turmoil that the A400M program has been through since the industry last convened at Le Bourget a mere two years ago. On the positive side, the aircraft finally completed its first flight. But the technical parts of building and flying the Airbus military aircraft have been the easy bit. Politics and contractual issues have been far more difficult to sort out. After recognizing the program would be years late and billions over cost, government and industry were locked in a long standoff over how to fix the mess. At one point, industry even threatened to stop work on the military airlifter altogether. After months of wrangling, government and industry worked out a new deal. Governments offered to pay more, although to offset costs, Germany and the UK also trimmed their purchases. It then took another year to translate a handshake agreement formulated in March 2010 into a firm contract. But even that has now finally happened. Flight testing, meanwhile, was off to a slow start. Awful weather early on and an unusually wet few months after flight testing began set the program back. The A400M's massive TP400D turboprop engines were equipped with moisture-sensitive sensors, so the wet weather in Seville became a big, big problem. But since then, and rather quietly, A400M flight testing has been picking up pace. In fact, program officials report they are now ahead of plan. Four aircraft are currently in flight trials, based at the dual flight test facilities in Seville and Toulouse, and a fifth flight test aircraft is due to join in the fall. A range of tests have already been performed, including determining minimum unstuck speed and even the first parachute jumps. In fact, the schedule margin is so great that the test team could find the time to allow Airbus CEO Tom Enders to fulfill himself one of his big wishes, jumping out of the airlifter. Fatigue testing of the aircraft is well underway and cold trials and initial refueling trials have also been completed. Meanwhile, series production of the A400M also has begun. The first of them is to be delivered to the French Air Force either late next year or, more likely, in early 2013. Airbus military has de-emphasized exports for the time being, instead preferring to focus on getting the core program delivered. But there are already signs that may soon start to change. Industry sees a large market for the airlifter, especially for countries that cannot afford a mix of strategic and tactical capacity and will instead opt for the A400M. The big prize, in the eyes of some, would be a US Air Force order, although for now, that's a topic for future Paris airships.